putting a face to the rapidly growing epidemic of fentanyl-laced heroin. I had enough. I'm sick and tired. I've had enough. Yesterday, we had the statistics for you. Today, we have firsthand stories about how this drug is taking lives. Good evening. I'm Paul Butler. And I'm Steve Hammond. Welcome to WBOC News at 6. The number of people who have died from the synthetic painkiller fentanyl in Delaware has more than doubled. Just days after the state released new numbers on the drug, some in the community are calling for action, including many who are addicted. At recovery meetings, Gary Calloway introduces himself as all of the above because he says he's done every substance imaginable. But he never touched heroin before back pain landed him a prescription for Percocet, a highly addictive opioid. It wasn't long after the pain treatment center he was in closed its doors that he hit the streets for heroin. He's in treatment now on a non-addictive painkiller, and that gives him a question for his doctors. Why couldn't they have done that to me before all this happened to my life? Because I lost everything. Calloway says he sold everything he had to buy heroin to get his fix, some of it laced with fentanyl. A bad batch of heroin would come around and people were ODing over it, you know? Well, I'm looking for that too. I want that feeling, you know? That's how miserable life is being on this heroin. The state says fentanyl's potency and presence on the street has started killing people by staggering numbers. In 2012, there were 15 fentanyl-related deaths. In 2015, 42. And in 2016, the number soared to 120. Pauline Powell works for Attack Addiction and has seen cases like Gary's too many times to count. She says teaching prescribers on the signs and consequences of opioid addiction is incredibly important and recalled a conversation with her own doctor. He said he knows he has these patients, but he doesn't know where to send them. He doesn't know what to do for them. Callaway and Powell say education is the first step to stopping the state's startling statistics. Callaway asks that lawmakers include addicts like himself in conversations. And to the doctors, he has a message. Figure, figure it out, man. There's got to be something different. There's got to be. Because it's this opioid, it's, it's just, it's just unbelievable. A call for action on addiction in Sussex County. That was Madeline Overturf, Overturf reporting. Now, the state launched a new website. It's called helpisheredde.com. Now, it's to help people find the resources they need to fight addiction. They also have a 24-7 crisis hotline to connect people to addiction treatment options. Now, that number in Kent and Sussex County is 800-345-6785. Now, Delaware isn't the only state seeing a huge increase in deaths from fentanyl-related overdoses. Maryland had more than twice as many overdoses in just the first nine months of 2016 than in all of 2015.